capitalism revolves around private property. Products and services are supposed to be provided by individuals who sell on the open market based on supply and demand. However, people like Karl Marx considered capitalism unfair towards the average worker and wanted to create a system in which everyone is equal. Marx said capitalism needs to initially be replaced by socialism. Under socialism, the state would gain control over the means of production, such as land and natural resources. In his view, socialism itself would eventually be replaced by communism, under which absolutely everyone is equal and the state doesn't even have to exist. So far, contrary to what most people think, communism, as defined by Marx, never materialized anywhere. Even in the USSR, you still had a state, and therefore, it was not something Marx would consider communism. It was still socialism. As of 1848, socialism spread to a lot of countries. This economic model, however, wasn't very efficient, as illustrated by the poor economic performance of the USSR and the countries under its sphere of influence. Today, that form of socialism only exists in isolated countries such as North Korea and Venezuela. Instead, socialism has morphed and we now have three main trends. One, Chinese socialism with a high dose of capitalism but no democracy. Two, democratic socialism such as in Northern Europe with democracy and private property but heavy redistribution through high levels of taxation. Three, socialism as a component of capitalism. Present in countries such as the US or the UK which lean more towards capitalism but still have state-funded social programs. As can be seen, pure communism and capitalism don't exist at this point and instead we have various combinations between the two.